CBS News 8 at 5. Good evening and thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Barbara Lee Edwards. And I'm Carlo Cicchetto. An elderly woman's caretaker is in custody tonight, accused of attacking the woman's 93-year-old friend, and it was caught on video. This happened in Oceanside. CBS News aides Brandon Lewis is in our newsroom. He spoke with the victim's family and has that video. Brandon? Carlo and Barbara Lee, the woman is stable at an area hospital, but doctors don't think she'll ever resume her active lifestyle. Tonight, her family is sharing her story with us and explains why they don't think the potential punishment is appropriate. For being 93, very, very physically active. Margaret Wood was full of life before April 16th. She walked with a spring in her step that afternoon when she went back to her friend's home to get her keys and sunglasses after a visit only to meet her friend's caregiver, who twice slammed the door in her face. She was pulled into the house violently. You could see a scuffle at, at the door, through the screen door, and seconds later, Granny is flying backwards through the air off the porch. A neighbor called 911. Mrs. Wood was hospitalized with serious injuries, including a skull fracture. She's been deteriorating, not getting better. At this point, she's semi-comatose. They don't know what's going to happen with her brain and that she just might be in this state the rest of her life now. The entire incident was captured on a neighbor's surveillance camera set up after she said she had an intimidating encounter with a 68-year-old caregiver, William Sutton. He moved in a few years ago and the family says there were problems from the start. And this is something that could have been prevented. I wondered to myself, why was this predator allowed to terrorize this neighborhood. Sutton was arrested on charges of attempted murder and elder abuse. The family says the DA's office is considering a plea agreement that could have him serve as few as six years in prison. No, he can still hurt somebody else when he gets out. A sentence the family says doesn't fit the charges. This man shouldn't be allowed out. They want to give him a slap on the wrist. You know, you get up in the morning, you go to the hospital and you hope like hell that you know, your mother's going to be sitting up and smiling at you and give you a nice kiss, and what you get is nothing. The district attorney's office declined to comment on that potential plea agreement since this is still an ongoing case. New at 630 will tell you why the family is speaking out and sharing video of the assault. Carlo. All right, Brandon, I'll take it. Thanks. Sutton is scheduled to have a readiness conference tomorrow morning ahead of a preliminary hearing next week.